Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video that has been requested multiple times over, and that is how do I tell what kind of doll hair I have and how do I work with it? So stay tuned as we're going to go over some of the uh, different types that are on the market right now and how I personally work with them. What may work for me though may not work for you, so just kind of keep that in mind. But stay tuned, like I said, and we're going to go over the options. Okay, so in front of me we have a smattering here of dolls that I have in my collection. Of course, they range from G1 Monster High all the way to G3 Monster High, Disney, Rainbow High, and all of that good stuff. Now, one of the most diverse hair types belongs to one group though and of course that would be Monster High. So we will start with them first. They range from Kinecolon to Polypropylene to Saran. I don't know of any that are nylon in the uh, Monster High realm. So if anybody does know of one that does have nylon hair in the Monster High dolls, do let me know in the comment section down below. I'm just going based off of the 100 plus dolls that I have in my collection and what I've been told by others. So anyhow, let's start with the one that we're seeing way too much of in the Monster High world right now, especially when it comes to G3, and that is polypropylene, or as we all like to call it, poly, or even better yet, crap. <laughs> so a lot of the G3 core dolls, unfortunately, do come with poly. This Claudine, who I did kind of undo her hairstyle from the original doll, um, does have the poly hair. And uh, as you can see here, it's basically two shades. It's tan and pink, or I guess that's kind of a purple pink. But anyhow, there are only two shades of hair in this whole head of hair here. It is a very shiny, almost plasticky looking, um, and it's very lightweight. So if I hold my finger underneath it and push up, as you'll see here, I'll go from this side. The hair does stick straight out. There is no weight to this hair whatsoever. Um, and this is what we're seeing in a lot of the uh, core dolls, as well as a lot of the play sets that are available on the market right now for G3. Another um, one that has the poly hair would be this Clio. Um, and I was really bummed about that because I love Clio. So I was like, oh, really poly hair crud. Um, and you can see here it also, if this is how I tell a lot out of out of the box hair if i even go back here it still sticks out straight um now hers does hang down a little bit you can see there but that's because she has so much but this is the poly hair another very very good example of it is the gorgonizer draculaura this hair is dry as a bone <laughs> um, but she too has two different tones of poly hair pink and black and the majority of their places like i said do have the poly hair and then another one would be fearidescent cleo here so again very lightweight all one color minus the tinsel and if you stick your hand in there and pull up the hair does go straight out now there are variants on the market when it comes to the g3 dolls that do have saran hair um, of the two that i showed you uh, I guess three, but still of these two, the, one of the variants is, of course, the Saran variant Core Clio. If you do do the weight test, as I call it, and pull up, the hair hangs down. And unlike her other counterpart here, she has a mix of colors. So in here, you can see there's just blue and light blue. And in the Saran variant, that light blue is intermixed throughout. And then there's darker blue, and then there's even darker blue. So um, the color sometimes is a dead giveaway. You can see here, let me see if I can get her turned on without dropping her. Um, even the, the darker blue is much darker, much deeper in color, I guess, if you will, in the poly than in the saran. So you can see the difference in color there. This is saran, this is poly. It's almost like a dark purple blue, and then a nice navy blue. Um, so that is one where we did get two different variations in the same line. Another one, of course, then is the Claudine and then the Saran Claudine. She too has the, um, the difference there. I just dropped something from one of my Cleos and now I can't find it on my floor. Oh, top, there he is. Okay. Um, but, uh, that is another one where you just kind of have to look for that color variation, which I'll show you right now. This one, of course, is the pink and brown. And then the Saran variant has the pink, light pink, dark pink, tan, brown, pink mixed into her hair. And side by side, you can see 
definitely a difference in color there. More pink tone in the Saran variant. Um, I had the poly version for the longest time and was just so frustrated with it that I didn't even put her out on display. And then uh, through Amazon, I was able to just order randomly, hoping to get the Saran variant, and I did. Same with Clio. I didn't see any Saran Clios on my... Um, store shelves here so i ordered a couple on amazon and thank god i got saran on both of the ones that i got now another one that has poly hair unfortunately is abby abominable now she does have a lot so the weight test doesn't really work super well on her because there's so much of her hair but you can tell by the texture this is just a very it almost feels like um, very fine fishing line i guess is the only way i can really describe it um very plasticky um, and very, very lightweight. Um, so this is a very lightweight hair. Um, but yeah, see, like, there we go. If I kind of hold it up there, you can see it still sticks straight out. So that is kind of a dead giveaway on the poly. I was really hoping there would have been a Saran variant for Abby, but unfortunately there is not, uh, at least not to my knowledge. And then we also have the Cora Draculaura who has Saran. Love this one. But you can see there, passes the weight test. Hers is split dye, and it's absolutely gorgeous. The Saran has almost a waxy texture to it. Not like a product wax, but just it. your hand, like when I pull through, the head moves because it's that, that actually, I don't know how to describe it, but it just has this denser feeling to it. And I don't know if you can hear the difference, but this is a Saran. Okay. And then we're going to do that same test on Polly. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it definitely sounds very, very dry. Another hair variant on the market, back in the old days, I guess at least, was Kanekalon. And oh, two of the dolls that are famous for having Kanekalon are Venus McFlytrap and our dear, dear friend, Gulia Yelps. Now, this is a Wave 1 Gulia and a Wave 1 Venus. Both of them have Kanekalon hair. It's a very lightweight material. And it does not stand up well to heat. Just an FYI there. So if you do want to straighten this hair, you have to be extremely careful. Do not keep it in that boiling water very long. If you even use boiling water, which I don't. I just use very hot water. Um, and you have to be very careful with any type of product that you use in it as well. Shampoo. And uh, WD-40 worked okay for me. <laughs> I was able to detangle Venus, but it is a very soft, I mean, and when I say soft, I mean soft material. Beautiful shine on this hair. Um, but it does, if not kind of kept carefully, turn into a matted mess. Um, so do be careful uh, on those. You do want to be very, very gentle when combing through it if you do have a used doll that has come in with some let's just put it this way issues <laughs> um do be careful don't just yank it through you'll pull the hair out start at the ends slowly sometimes even putting some conditioner in me i start out with wd-40 on it that just seems to grease up the hair you can run the comb through usually pretty uh, smoothly and everything's good to go from there now the other one that's on the market right now all over the place because they don't really use Kanekalon anymore is nylon and rainbow high and i have very few of these dolls left i think i've got like four um is one of the ones that is you know and i think maybe brats um uses um nylon all the time um although i think some of the newer rainbow high dolls do have poly nylon is a wonderful hair um, it's a very very good quality hair uh, it's very smooth very sleek this one has tinsel mixed in it so maybe this wasn't the best example to show but um, nylon is a very 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 good hair to use on dolls um, it holds product well it holds curl well it can withstand heat a lot of people have actually used their um, curling irons and straight irons on these and um, just make sure that you keep the hair very very wet when you do and use a very low setting another line that uses nylon is a lot of the shop disney dolls and i'm pretty sure the limited edition dolls do as well i don't think they use saran uh, but this one is nylon i'm gonna pop her off her stand here real quick i've had this doll for a few years now and by a few years i mean probably five or six <laughs> um and i 
I mean, there is no product in this hair whatsoever. You can see it still retains all that wonderful bounce and curl that she had the day I pulled her out of the box. Um, and it is very, very, very soft, silky, smooth, very nice texture, well rooted. There's a little bit of product right here just to keep her bang in place. But um, Shop Disney does use the nylon, at least on Ariel. I know that for sure. Ariel always seems to get the good hair when it comes to Shop Disney dolls. But um, I know others do I use the nylon as well. Um, but those are the types that I have in my collection. For ease of working with, I do think that Saran is the best. And I'll just kind of give you an example right here of why I think that. I just dropped Sally's purse. Um, Sally has Saran hair. Sally's from the NBC set that released last year. And the box, of course, her hair was kind of off to the side and tied in with different ties. All I did was boil some water and dip it in there for about a minute, minute and a half by going like this. And the weight of the water and the heat of the water made that hair pin straight and silky smooth. And just, I mean, so much weight to that hair. Um, and it turned out wonderfully. Uh, this doll's hair is probably one of my favorite Monster High doll hair, I guess, that's out there. Um, and I don't know if it's just because of how, I mean, look at all that movement. It's so, so nice. Um, they did a phenomenal job with that. Another one that has very similar style hair would be the um, Fang Club Gulia from last year. She too has long, beautiful saran hair. Lots of weight and body to this hair as well. Again, there you can see with the weight test that I do with it, that so you can tell it's saran. Plus it has that kind of a waxy feel to it. But look at that shine. Oh my gosh, this doll's beautiful. Annalise did a phenomenal job. Phenomenal job designing her. Love this Gulia so much. Um, but yeah, those, those two are the collector lines. And I think for all the collector lines, they do use um, Saran. I have not seen them use anything else. Now, having said that, one thing I am bummed about, the brand new Spectra that they did for the Cree production. Let me grab her here real quick. Um, she releases April 1st. They used Polly. <laughs> um, it's very dry. It's very lightweight. Um, you can see there, it sticks straight out. No weight to it whatsoever. I have no idea why they bumped back to Polly for a Cree production doll. That was probably one of the dumbest moves Mattel could have possibly done. Um, but yeah, so just be aware if you do get the creep production of Spectra and you want to mess with her hair, just be careful. Um, low heat, low, 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 low heat. Um, and, uh, just, you know, just be careful. <laughs> uh, poly hair is, is the bane of our doll collecting existence, I do believe. But anyhow, so there is another version of poly hair. Anyhow, I hope that helped. I know a lot of people are like, I just don't know how to tell what I have. And by looking in the box, sometimes it can be very, very difficult. But uh, just know that a lot of the Playline play sets of G3 um, are going to come with poly hair. Most of the um, Skultimate Secrets, except for Laguna, have um, poly hair. I think almost all of Laguna's dolls actually for G3 have Saran, if not all of them. Um, but the rest do have poly. And a lot of the play sets, except for the Costco play set, the, or not the Costco, the Sam's Club play set, those both have Saran. But the rest are probably going to have Polly, at least from what I've seen and what I have in my own collection. Um, yeah, so, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> one thing I will say, though, the other one that they did bring out in the Creep production was the new Gulia. And thank God they did not give her Kanekalon, they did give her Saran. So the new Gulia does have Saran hair. Love that about that Gulia. But anyhow, Yes, so that is that. I hope it helps you guys kind of see what you're 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 getting and helps you make decisions in stores. Um, and yeah, I know that a lot of times people are like, "Oh, just leave them in box and you don't have to worry about it." Very true. <laughs> Very true. But I don't have room for a bunch of boxes laying around. I have room for a bunch of little dolls instead. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyhow, if you guys have any questions or, you know, maybe this was clear as mud, let me down down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to get back to you and explain a little bit better if I can. Um, otherwise, stay tuned. More to come. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope everybody's having an extra magical day. And we will see you real soon.